Hey everybody, welcome back. Today I just wanted to put a quick video out there from creator to viewer, woman to viewer, woman to woman, woman to man, woman to whoever you are. Just a huge thank you guys for supporting my channel. Today is hashtag thank you Patreons day, uh, which is like a Patreon event where creators give thanks to their lovely patrons for helping to support their channel, to, uh, to help fuel creators' passions for creating content, and yeah, just a way to say thank you. So I actually have seven lovely patrons, Beth, Douglas, Judy, Kiki, Kaze, Lee, and an anonymous patron. Thank you guys so much for showing your support in a way that help directly helps me create content for my channel. I feel like this year I've had a really great year with a really regular upload schedule. The right amount of content, I would say for me, I just feel like I've grown well. I've got a lot of views, a lot of new subscribers. Just knowing that people are willing to kind of give back in a way is really touching to me. So thank you guys so much. The service Patreon actually says that people that do patronize your content. They're the reason that creators have the freedom to create what you want, when you want, and of course they do deserve to know how much they mean to you. So this is my, this is my outpouring of support to you guys for supporting me, but not just me, for, for supporting any type of creators out there. One of my favorite podcasts is Medieval Death Chip, and they have an episode, episode number 53, I'll link it down below, which is concerning sucking up to patrons, a full episode dedicated to artists and creators having to come up with ways to like fund their creative endeavors. And I'm really grateful for a service like patrons and of course that people are invested in my content enough to, you know, support me monetarily. I could throw a few bucks my way to help with things like editing costs, the time it costs for me to sit down, create the content, edit the content, write the content, research the content. Um, purchasing makeup is quite expensive, especially when you're doing it for like testing purposes, testing out weird hair products. I don't know, it's just, it's really touching. I also feel like the beauty community is kind of an oddity where having patrons is kind of looked down upon. Maybe it's because um, some people are able to become so successful monetarily or through PR or through like brand trips or whatever, sponsored content that like you can get rich quick. So like, why would you need patrons? But at the same time, I feel like there's a million smaller creators out there that are doing like investing their own time, money, reputation. I don't know, they're just putting it out there because they're passionate, not just about makeup, but about creating content, about reviewing products, you know, being creators. And I think, and I think the beauty could do a little bit more to like support those creators, not just me, but like all creators. Like if you look at gaming community, people buy games for themselves, they play with the games, they review games, they stream, and there's like tons of patrons on uh, popular channels, but you never really see that in the beauty community. If you get successful in the beauty community, it's because brands have invested in you, they've sent you PR, they send you on trips. Uh, it's a lot more close to the brands themselves. And I think it would be a good step towards transparency, towards accountability, towards, I don't know, just something a little bit more honest and less reliant on brands if more people were willing to like, step in and support their favorite beauty creators. Have you guys noticed anything like that or is it, or am I just making this all up? I don't know. I would love to hear your thoughts and opinions down below. Or if you have any recommendation on other creators that you think are worth sponsoring, leave them down in the comments below so we can take a look. Some, some of my recommendations for content creators to watch would be Lindsay Ellis, Movies with Mikey's, Medieval Death Trip, do not eat, I love to sew podcast. There's a ton out there that uh, you can look at and support. And of course, you can also consider supporting me. I also think like if you know somebody in your life that is creating videos, maybe instead of giving them a Christmas present or a birthday present, maybe consolidate all their gifts into whatever their like minimum tier is. Or you can actually like give money below the minimum tier. So if you gave your friend like, dollar a month 
like just being another name on the list of people supporting the content can mean so much to that person, especially because they're probably looking at your name every, every month. It's like really touching to see. So I would recommend don't give them a card, don't give them like maybe actually like fund their creative endeavors. I'm sure it'll mean a ton to them. Anybody in my real life who's watching, like that's something to consider as well. Most of all, I think on my channel, it is all about supporting content that is made by a consumer and is intended for other consumers. I'm not out there making content to make brands happy, I'm not looking to be financed by brands or like influenced in that way to like kind of skew my content. I'm really kind of creating a beauty diary, a beauty journal, which like kind of documents my experience with different products. And yeah, it's really intended for you guys and almost as a time capsule for each like product from a third party perspective. So I hope that comes across. If you have any suggestions for me or suggestions for other patrons, um, other suggestions for ways that you can support your favorite content creators, leave them all down below. Again, a huge shout out to my lovely patrons. Thank you guys so much. One final thing before I go, we're getting into the Christmas season now and I would love to receive either a Christmas card or a postcard or something from you, my viewers, just to like kind of cheer up my house and holiday season, kind of fill me with holiday spirit. So if you would like to send me a postcard, send me a Christmas card, if you mail me one, I will absolutely mail you one back as soon as I get it. I got a Christmas card last year. I would love to get more than one this year. So if you're into it, think about it, send it out, and uh, yeah, I will definitely return the favor. And with that, you guys, once again, thank you to my patrons, thank you to my lovely subscribers. I want to just thank like the beauty community on YouTube and YouTube community, the creator community, the Reddit community in general. Kind of a lurker everywhere except on YouTube, but um, it's really changed my life, giving me a ton of inspiration give me an amazing creative output to like, I don't know, just maybe affect something in the world. And again, your support means the world to me. So with that, you guys, I will see you all in Wednesday's beauty video. Bye for now.